In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. So in the last episode, we bought the Acid Lab and the Sparrow in order to further our money making efforts. And today, I'm going to continue that by buying the Auto Shop which will unlock 8 solo heists for us which we will do a few of today and we're going to complete our first ever acid lab cell mission today as well. And now that the two hour timer is started, we're going to get into the first thing for today, which is going to be a DAX mission because we have to do one more in order to get the equipment upgrade for the acid lab. Yesterday, I actually recorded for about 10 minutes total, completed two more DAX missions, which is why we have 1.8 million dollars right now we got an extra 200k and now all we have to do is one more to get the equipment upgrade and make the most amount of money possible with the acid lab all right i've contaminated the weed farm and now we're going to go on a long acid trip and that will be the end of the dax mission and that is the end of the acid trip fifty thousand dollars and finally we could go over to the freak shop and get the equipment upgrade for the acid lab so we just go here talk to mutts go to customize acid lab upgrades acid lab equipment 250 grand this will greatly increase the amount of money we could make from the acid lab overall so we're gonna head in here and we will check out what the stock looks like right now how much we could sell it for and i believe we need one more batches of supplies in order to get a full acid lab so we only have just shy of two bars and what we can do is go here and speak to mutt and buy supplies for 60 grand but instead we're going to do a stash house raid because when we do it it will fully restock our acid lab for completely free but this only works if the acid lab is the only business you could restock there you go our acid lab has been resupplied and now we could buy our new business but unlike other businesses for the auto shop you actually have to come over here to the ls car meet before you could actually buy the business itself. Okay, so now that the cutscene is over, we're gonna come here to Mimi and we're gonna purchase a membership to the LS Car Meet for 50 grand, perfect. And now we're going to buy our auto shop. Okay, so the auto shop I'm gonna go for is the cheapest one here at Mission Row for 1.67 million. But as you can see in the top right hand corner, for some reason, I didn't do the quick maths today to figure out that I wouldn't have the money yet. So I'm gonna go make 120 grand and be right back. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I would have liked, but it is what it is. We're over here. We could now finally buy the auto shop. So tint, we don't have to worry about it. Emblem, we don't have to worry about it. Staff, doesn't matter for now. Extras, we would like to get personal quarters, but I am broke, so we're not going to do that. Buy for 1.67 million, and there you go. So here we are at our brand new auto shop, and there are two main ways to make money with the business, with the first one being delivering client cars, which will be down there at the bottom you could do one or two every in-game day or 48 minutes but they don't pay out a lot of money the best way to make money is with the auto shop contracts which we have to complete this intro mission in order to unlock okay when we get here there's going to be cops everywhere you just got to take them out take the santa's car and get back to the auto shop and there you go there's the end of the setup mission now we could get into the auto shop contracts okay so we are now at the auto shop contract board and the way this works is that at any given time we will have the ability to do one of three different auto shop contracts they will be randomly chosen and once we complete one we will then be given three new contracts now each contract has about an hour cooldown but you can do different contracts back to back to back making this one of the best ways and most fun ways to make money as a beginner player or a somewhat intermediate player because you could make hundreds of thousands of dollars while completing tons of really fun heists so out of these three the best i think is the prison contract so as you can see we have two setups plus a finale let's get into inside man the first setup mission okay we've now arrived at richmond and we have to enter lil d's remis okay we now have to take a little d to del Perro. all right the boys are doing a little bit of a deal here you know just uh legal businessman stuff nothing sketch here going on okay we are now at the gang hideout and uh we'll see how this goes well that didn't go as planned so now we have to escape the gang members and they're going to be hot on our tail and now we could drop off a little d in front of the police department and that is it for setup number one let's now start up mission number two okay so once we get to the movie set here all we got to do is take out a handful of enemies which this guy here will be an absolute tank so keep that in mind but take out the enemies 
We'll grab one of these trucks, take the trailer, and leave. Okay, so we now have to lose the cops, and losing them in this thing will be next to impossible. So the easiest way to do this is to head in, okay, head in down to the tunnels, lose the cops ourselves, and then get back in the trailer and get to our destination. Okay, so we've now reached the drop-off, and now we just have to leave the area, and we're all good to go. Whoa, 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 holy. Dude, I, I, I watched him stare me down, or her, and then just brutally kill me. That is crazy. And there you go. There's the second setup mission done. Let's head back to the auto shop. Okay, so we're now ready for the finale, but first I'm going to get snacks from the snack bowl here at the bottom floor. Now we can head upstairs and get this started. So there's a few different things you have to choose before getting into these auto shop contract finales. We have our weapon loadout. I always like to go with Hustler because it does have an automatic rifle and a pistol, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to do that. And then when you get in or when you're starting it up, you have the choice between Sasanta's car or your own personal vehicle. Of course, we don't have our own vehicle. So we're just going to go with Sasanta's car, which is very good, by the way. So I wouldn't worry about having to get a personal vehicle. So the prison contract, we're starting it up. This is a very exciting one. It's actually one of the more fun ones to do. The best contract to do is the Union Depository contract, where you could make 300k, and it takes about 25 minutes to do. It's my personal favorite because of the payout and because it's a fun contract to do, but this one is actually really enjoyable as well. Okay, so we've arrived here at the prison, and we are doing a prison break. We are getting Lil D out of here. So there is the ramp that we delivered a little while ago set up, so we're going to have to jump it with our car. We're going to go full speed. This is one of the coolest parts about it. And we're gone. Flying into the penitentiary. And of course now we have tons of cops all over us. So we're going to have to take out two targets. And the way to get to the central court is to head over here to the left. And we're going to have to get to the, I believe it's like a water tower. Wait, right over here. Yeah, you can see it. The water tower. That's going to be our way to get into the main courtyard. So we're good to go here. We could now drive in. And the first target is, oops, sorry bud. The first target is going to be over here. We're going to have to take them out. We got target number one. Now we got to head over to the other side of the compound here. To be honest, I've completely forgot how to get, <laughs> how to get inside there. Okay, we're going to have to try to figure this out. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, other side of the compound, past the water tower once again. And they killed me. I was not paying attention to my health at all. Okay, well, that just made it 10 times harder. No, 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 I failed it. I failed the mission. Brutal start. Brutal start. <laughs> Let's do this one again. Let's run it back. We'll restart it. Essentially, what you want to do is what I should have had was my snacks menu out and just eating snacks the whole time. But I was too preoccupied chasing down guys and wasn't thinking about it. Okay, so now we can start from the jump once again. And luckily with the auto shop contracts, if you mess up anything, it does not get deducted from your pay. So we're now into the courtyard. We're going to spin around here or into the prison rather. And we're going to head back to the water tower and get into the courtyard once again. All right, I found the last guy. Take him out. And now we got to rescue Lil D. So I'm going to hop back into the car over here. We're going to have to drive back around to the entrance and get Lil D who's escaping. Okay, so we got to shoot that one panel there. We're going to shoot another panel over here. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me, man. Okay, I'm going to have to take one of the cop cars here, and I'm just going to die. I'm going to die, aren't I? Yep, I'm dead. Okay. I don't remember failing this many times when I did the first time, but oh, this is frustrating. Okay. Okay. Well, at least this time we have started off where we're going to rescue Lil D, so it's made it a bit easier. I'm going to take out that, and then we also have to take out... That's right there to unlock both doors. And okay, I just destroyed the panel. What's going on here? Oh, maybe this panel. There you go. Excuse me, sir. So now we've taken out those. So if you had done this better than I have, you would have taken out the four targets in there. You would have got out. Lil D would not have gotten that far away as he is right here. How is this bus not moving at all? Come on, run into the other bus. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll just take out the driver this way. There you go. Finally. Fi Excuse me, sir. Quite rude of you. All right, Lil D, hop in. We now have to lose the cops and then deliver them back to the drop-off. 
All right, we got a cop here. What I'm going to do is send them to the left. Send them to the left and go to the right. Whoop, see you later. I'm going to do the same thing here. Send them to the left, go to the right, easy. You could do that with literally every single cop in the game. It's quite comical. So go here. Send them to the left. See you later, bud. And here we are. We brought Lil D back to the drop off. So now we're going to get a little cutscene and we will see how much money we have made. And once this is over, we could then move on to our acid lab cell mission. So we passed the mission almost with flying colors, 157.5 thousand plus. If we get the 20,000 or so from the setup missions, we made roughly 175,000. So not the best, but not the worst. Of course, like I said, the union depository contract is by far the best paying up 300K, but I'm not gonna be mad about 175 for about 30 minutes worth of work and we just got 75k for completing it for the first time now we will be doing every single auto shop contract during the series because it is part of our gta veteran checklist but for today the only thing we have time for now is to do our acid lab cell mission and we're going to do it in a public lobby it is a bit risky but I do believe that we could get it done just so long as we use ghost organization and choose the right lobby. Okay, so it took some time, but we're finally in a public session with 25 or more people and I was able to register as a CEO. So the first thing to do when selling in a public lobby is to check out the lobby and see if anybody's acting kind of sussy. And so far from what I could see, I don't see anybody looking like they're going to be a threat. I mean, we got one person here in whatever jet that is. It's moving pretty quick, so it must be at least like a Raiju or some sort of fighter jet. We have a Deluxo over here. But aside from that, I think we should be good. What you don't want to see is a ton of oppressors. That is a problem. Although this guy might be a problem here. We'll have to see. So, I trust it. We're good to go. Okay, so we have $251,000 worth of product. So Santa, now's not the time. We have 250 k worth to sell. And the reason why I'm doing it in a public lobby is because we will get a 50% bonus on the sale, which will take this up to, if I got quick mass, 375K roughly. If you have a full acid lab, it will be over 500,000. So here we go. We're starting up the mission and we have five different drop-offs, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. What I'm going to do now though, is I'm going to go into my interaction menu, head over to VIP. That's the wrong, nope, that's right. VIP abilities. And then we have ghost organization for 12,000. This is going to be 100% worth it. It takes us and the product off the radar for three minutes, which will hopefully allow us to complete the mission before anybody tries to kill us in the online session. There is the first drop off. I'm now going to head to drop off a next because I want to get all the ones in the city done first. I don't want to have any of them in the city while I'm currently on the radar. There you go. There's drop off number two. Now out of these five cell missions, there will be two locations where you want to put it in the most discreet location possible, because if you don't, the cops will be on you. I don't think it's this one. Okay, it's not this one. We got away with it. Now we have to get to E. Man, downtown is crawling with players. My anxiety is definitely a little bit high right now. Okay, so this is one of the locations where there will be cops nearby. No, no. Okay, so as I was saying, this is one of the locations where there's going to be cops nearby, so putting it in the most discreet location possible is the way to go, or else you're going to have the cops on you. And now that we know that we have somebody on us, we're going to have to do this as fast as possible. Luckily, we've delivered at least four out of five, so if we do get blown up, we will get the money for that, but ideally, we complete the entire mission. Okay, that is the final delivery. Now we could hop on the bike, and we just have to leave the area. And like I said, because we get a 50% bonus on the sale, on the sale rather, we should get 375k if my maths are mathing. So let's see, 377, perfect. And now we're sitting at roughly three quarters of a million dollars, not too bad. But that is where we're going to end off today's video. Today, we did check off a few more things from our GTA Online Veterans Checklist. We got to the Acid Lab, that is completely wrong. We got the Auto Shop. We also completed our first auto shop contract, working towards the goal of completing every heist in the game. And overall, we're making really good progress in the series. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Peace.